All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another amazing video. Thank you so much for watching. On this video, I'm gonna be talking about Titan X. Titan X community, I hope you're having a great weekend. It is time to shine. Let's see the technical analysis for our token. I hope you mint it. I hope you're claiming. I hope you're mining. I hope you're doing everything, all right? Take advantage of it because this is a really good investment, especially whenever it comes to diversifying your portfolio. It's always good to have Pulse Chain, Hex, you know, even Matic, Solana, all them coins all around, man. Don't always stick to just 100% of your portfolio in one certain token because who knows, man, anything could happen. Even though as much as big as a coin can be, as the most trustworthy ceo and you know developer whoever it is anything could happen all right i'm trying to take care of you guys and i hope you see that so let's go ahead and get into the technical analysis now five zeros and a seven two is still very cheap okay it was literally just at four zeros and like a one one i think somewhere around there so it did see a drop in price as of right now i think it's going to be one of them scenarios in which it will take one day to pump right back up and retest these areas but it will de it will depend on one fa a few factors actually who is buying like big people i'm talking influencers i'm talking millionaires i'm talking you know some people with some serious serious cash flow that are out there, whether they tweet it out, whether they make a YouTube video about it with, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, something, it will trigger it. Now, another thing to put into perspective is that I saw somebody on Twitter that said, this is Hein X at its baby form, literally. It's still a baby, it's still new, it is still one of them early projects out there in which it can explode at any given time. But this this pump up right here that we saw in the price increase is nothing compared to what it will actually do once dApps come into play. I saw somebody on Twitter. Um, I need to start writing down these Twitter names, man, because I really want to give them credit, but it's just, I just go through Twitter, I read it, and I'm just skimming through, and I just like it and retweet it, right? I'm going to have to start jotting down usernames, because I want to give them credit, right? By the way, go follow me on Twitter. It is Crypto Audit King. The link is going to be down below in the description. I also have a Telegram chat in case you're interested. Uh, But I saw somebody on Twitter. They were like, yo, this is Pinex price at its current time with no not really like no big platform or a dap under it it's kind of like you put zen and dx in or zen with i'm sorry i know i should not you know compare the coins and some of you got probably get you know triggered because of that but I, that's just the best way i could describe it right it's like zen with zenify zen with um db zen nfts and stuff like that now once Big projects and I guess like other type of small meme coins, I guess, develop and require time token to be able to get it, like burn it, use it, stake it to be able to get their token. That's where the true gains are going to start taking effect. That price is going to start going, man, especially with the whole entire uh, mechanics on it, the tokenomics, the token price, demand, everything put together will literally throw throw out the the whole entire small pump right here we could easily just go up way beyond over here looking into the uh, technical analysis on the bottom side over here though but we are right at the support level it literally bounced perfectly on the support level right here way back here around the first i'm sorry the last week or two of november so it's only a matter of time whenever it starts bouncing, which it's already doing so right now. But I need we need to see it above the 1334 moving average for it to be a super bullish run. We are under, but that's perfectly fine, man. It is the daily. I feel like we will start having some really good moves once the weeklies start showing up. But it's like I said, it's still way too early, man. As of right now, we could only go based off of the dailies. So let me know what you guys think about the price movement, whether you're going to get in, whether you're going to get out or long-term, stake, mint, all whatever, right? 
let me know down in the comment section below just a small little video for you guys for the tinex community but i'll be seeing you guys in the next video take it easy i'm out peace